All right, so starting with a really zoomed out look uh, for Bitcoin here, I'm I'm really targeting uh, ten five here in the next couple weeks, um, and I'm going to show you why. If I zoom in, you know, we're working our way out of this bullish pennant here, this bullish flag, as you can see, um, and we're we're at this midline right here, right? You see the midline where it acted as resistance over here. Came, acted as a little bit of support and acted as resistance. And we're about to attack that again. And look at this. I mean, it's a triangle. It looks like an arrowhead, right? We have, you know, this very bullish consolidation. We want to test the top of the range right here, of course, above 10K. 10K is a magnet. Um, and I just think that the, the uptrend is going to continue. Um, again, this is when the Fed right over here announced that they were going to be printing, you know, a wall of money to support asset prices. And, and so that's what I'm looking at for Bitcoin. Um, you know, it, again, we came, we bounced into high volume support here. Um, it, you can see the volume point of control here around 8867. Um, we, we shot straight into that um, and we found a lot of support. Again, the thing I'm looking at is volume. Um, right here, you can see we had a lot of high volume uh, buyers come in and defend price. Uh, and they, you know, brought it all the way back up. Sellers came, but you could see that this, the sellers weren't. You know, they didn't have as much volume over here on the cells that brought us down here. And uh, so we're looking really for big volume to get us through this midline. If we cross if we cross through the midline um, it, it, without much volume, I won't be convinced uh, that this correction is over. And, and we might have to come back down here and test uh, this red box. Um, so this red box is what, you know, where we were. Uh, these were the highs that were essentially containing price. Uh, in the past month. Um, and so in a bull market, you know, those highs were, you know, today's lows or, you know, this month's lows, I should say, uh, right over here, um, which is also right here around the 200 day moving average. But, you know, you have your bullish golden cross here, the 50 day moving average crosses above the 200 day moving average. Um, momentum looks like it's picking up strong. But again, we haven't seen any pickup in volume. So I'm not convinced that this is going to be the move to, to be the final move that, you know, we never see 10K again. Um, it doesn't look like there's extreme, extreme bullishness in the market like we were calling in, in a day like this when we just saw massive, you know, massive buying in the market. Right now we saw a really big up day, but we saw followed by very, very tight con uh, consolidation, as you can see right here. Um, so we're not convinced that this is going to be a completely massive breakout. Um, but we are going to test the top side of the channel again in our last uh, in our last video update we came we circled right around here that that was where we were expecting to find some support so now you know I'm thinking we're going to find some you know we're going to find some action right up here you know I'm targeting 10k this next week um, it'll probably happen within that time frame um, and I'm expecting to see a lot of volume there. Um, Hopefully, you know, we break out. But again, if we come back there, we, we break out, we test. I wouldn't be surprised to see this level, you know, uh, you know caught up again, tested again um, before we, ha we have some longer time. Uh, so anyhow, long story short, we're definitely going to see higher prices in the near term uh, is what I'm thinking. Um, hopefully, we, we could actually start to assault this, you know, 10.5 level. Uh, but we just need some volume. We just need the volume. So once we see that volume, we'll let you guys know. But until then, it's just kind of a waiting game.